Yeah, this is my cooling it. All I have is a, it's like an open core aluminum radiator that came with the kit I bought. And the, uh, I just have a 16 inch flex fan on it. And a, the shroud from the Ranger. I have not made brackets for it, obviously, because I was just testing it and it actually works really well, so I need to make brackets. But I'm actually selling it, so I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> but, uh, and it has two 12 inch electric fans on it also that are mounted in the front and they're kind of like overlap the sides of the core a little bit so they don't cool that great but they do help it and uh, I want to know also the on the fuel pump I have it on a wire this actually is the fuel pump switch the left switch there the right switch is the fans. There's no battery in it right now to show you. So, uh, The left switch goes through my wiring to a key ignition source over here in the fuse box. And then down through a hole by the shifter down under here to the fuel pump itself. Which the, I just went, I think the, it's a red wire. I don't really want to climb under there. It's wet now, but it's a red wire. It's like the thickest wire and I just initially didn't know what to do so I just chopped that wire and then put power to it and it turned the fuel pump and that's what I've done ever since so it worked and I have never touched it since because it did work but uh, that is what I did and for the fuel pump and it's I mean I've got 23,000 miles on it from then and no problems yet so now I'm just having trouble with the ignition and I put a different distributor in it because that's what I thought was the problem and it's not so it's a brand new distributor with like three miles on it and then the ignition box is what I'm thinking is the problem but that's that thanks